a royal tradition. Princess Eugenie's son August wore the same replica Hanet and lace christening robe as cousins George, Charlotte, and Louis, new photo shows, after the original 1841 gown was retired. Princess Eugenie shared an unseen photograph from her son's christening, in which he appears to be wearing the handmade replica of the royal christening robe. The Queen's granddaughter, 31, took to Instagram yesterday to share memorable moments from the past year, which saw both the arrival of her first baby son August, but also the death of the Duke of Edinburgh. The collection included a first look inside baby August's baptism at the All Saints Chapel in Windsor Great Park, which was shared with Zara and Mike Tyndall's son Lucas. The photograph indicates that the babies were christened in the Honiton lace and white satin gown first used at the christening of James, Viscount Severn in 2008, making August and Lucas the 10th and 11th royal babies to be christened in it. The frilly cream outfit is a replica of the intricate christening gown made for Queen Victoria's eldest daughter that was used for all royal baptisms until Lady Louise Windsor's in 2004. Along with Viscount Severn, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis all wore the gown, as did Lord Frederick Windsor's daughter Maud and Zara Tyndall's little girl, Mia. It was created by the Queen's dresser Angela Kelly, and features the same lengthy skirt and elaborate collars and bow as its predecessor. The original robe, made in 1841, was worn by the Prince of Wales, the Duke of Cambridge and Prince Harry among others, and has now been carefully preserved. In her 2019 book, the other side of the coin, Ems Kelly, explained how the replica gown was dyed in Yorkshire tea the strongest, as we all know, to ensure it looked authentic, reported the Telegraph. She wrote, At each stage of the process I would show our progress to the Queen, first the bodies, then the sleeves attached to it, then the skirt with the under layers on, and finally the completed robe. Her Majesty was very interested to see how it was developing. The original Spitalfield silk and Honiton lace gown was commissioned by Queen Victoria in 1841 for her first child, Victoria. It was deemed too delicate to be used again following the christening of Lady Louise Windsor in April 2004, so the Queen commissioned an exact replica to be worn by royal babies instead. Alongside the photographs, Eugenie wrote, Happy New Year to all. Goodbye 2021. A year that blessed us with our boy and saw our family grow with new additions but also a year that took some of our biggest and brightest lights. Forever in our hearts. The last year saw Eugenie welcome her first child August Philip Hawk Brooks Bank, who is 11th in line to the throne, with husband Jack Brooks Bank on 9th February at London's Portland Hospital. She shared adorable pictures walking with her son, the Queen's ninth great-grandchild thought to have been taken in the grounds of Frogmore Cottage, where the couple are currently living. The royal also posted sweet selfies taken with husband Jack, who she wed in a ceremony at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle in October 2018. Eugenie also gave a glimpse into the rare double royal christening in Windsor which saw August baptized alongside his second cousin, Lucas in the presence of the Queen, who at the time was on doctor's orders to rest for more than a month. The royal also celebrated the birth of her niece after sister Princess Beatrice gave birth to baby girl Sienna at the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital in September, sharing a snap of the baby's footprint. While Eugenie had much to celebrate this year, she also shared some of the more difficult moments of the year, posting an image of her grandparents the Queen and Prince Philip. The touching picture, taken by the Countess of Wessex, shows the couple at one of their happy places dash the coils of Mickles close to Balmoral, where they enjoyed walking and picnics throughout their long lives together. Eugenie, whose son was named after Prince Philip, who died at the age of 99 this year, also posted an image of Jack's father George, who died earlier this year, with his brother Thomas. This has been a particularly difficult year for the princess whose father Prince Andrew is facing growing scandal surrounding his association with alleged sex trafficking victim Virginia Jufri. The Duke of York is facing a civil case by one of Jeffrey Epstein's victims, Ms. Jufri, who claims she was forced to have sex with Andrew as she slid Maxwell's London home after spending an evening in Tramp nightclub, an allegation the prince strenuously denies. However, 
the Duke of York suffered a significant legal setback in the civil case after his lawyers failed to have the complaint dismissed on a technicality. His legal team hoped to have a case ended claiming neither Ms. Jufrey or the Prince are American residents and therefore the U.S. courts have no jurisdiction. Prince Andrew is among a string of high-profile men who have been linked to Epstein and Maxwell, who is facing up to 65 years in federal prison following her conviction for six sex trafficking charges. Last night, Prince Andrew's family put on a united front as they were spotted for the first time since the conviction of the Duke of York's close friend Ghislaine Maxwell for sex trafficking. The Duchess of York linked arms with her daughters Beatrice and Eugenie and their husbands Eduardo Mapley Mozzi and Jack Brooks Bank as they took a stroll in the exclusive Swiss ski resort of Verbier. The five appeared to be in good spirits despite the growing scandal surrounding the Duke of York's association with sex trafficking victim Virginia Jufrey. The family are understood to have flown out to Switzerland on Boxing Day while Prince Andrew remained at his Royal Lodge home inside the Queen's Windsor estate. The Duchess declined to comment about recent events when approached in the street. The 62-year-old said simply, We are on a family holiday. Royal courtiers are discussing plans to strip Prince Andrew of his Duke of York title if he loses the lawsuit brought by sex abuse accuser Virginia Jufrey, according to the Sunday Times. Other ideas allegedly being considered by the royal household include sending the Duke into some form of internal exile and asking him to relinquish any links he still has to charities. Ms. Jufrey alleges that Prince Andrew sexually assaulted her three times when she was 17 which he denies, and is suing for unspecified damages. The Duke stepped down from public duties in November 2019 for the foreseeable future over his friendship with pedophile Jeffrey Epstein in the wake of the disastrous Newsnight interview he had hoped would clear his name. A source said, if, Prince Andrew, loses the case, the question is what do you do with him? You can't make him resign like you would a normal person but he would be asked to put his dukedom into abeyance. Royal insiders said it would be difficult to persuade the Queen to remove the title of Duke of York as it was held by her father, George VI, before he became king and she bestowed it on her favorite son. But he has disgraced the title, the Sunday Times reported. A Buckingham Palace spokesman said with regard to claims the Duke might lose his title, this is speculation and the comments are without foundation. We would not comment on an ongoing legal matter. And in a further blow, the Duke is said to be under pressure to give up his nine military roles, according to defense sources. Military chiefs hope he will resign so the Queen doesn't have to strip him of his honorary titles, the Sunday People reported. In light of the Duke's close friendship with Epstein and Maxwell, senior army commanders believe it is not feasible for Andrew to carry on his role as Colonel-in-Chief of the nine military regiments, units and corps.
became king and she bestowed it on her favorite son. But he has disgraced the title, the Sunday Times reported. A Buckingham Palace spokesman said with regard to claims the Duke might lose his title, this is speculation and the comments are without foundation. We would not comment on an ongoing legal matter. And in a further blow, the Duke is said to be under pressure to give up his nine military roles, according to defense sources. Military chiefs hope he will resign so the Queen doesn't have to strip him of his honorary titles, the Sunday People reported. In light of the Duke's close friendship with Epstein and Maxwell, senior army commanders believe it is not feasible for Andrew to carry on his role as Colonel-in-Chief of the nine military regiments, units and corps.